hello everyone uh, today we will plot gm by id course in cadence so i have created this semantic you can also create similar to this one and uh, so this one is my uh, nmos and this one is pmos these two both are from uh, gpdk 45 nanometer library and these three are uh, dc source so vdc and uh, these are from uh, analog library so I have given the variable name DC voltage as VGS. Okay. I have given same variable name this one also VGS. Okay. And I have given this variable name as uh, VDS voltage. Now uh, check and save. Go to the launch and click ADL. Okay. After clicking, you will get a window like this. Now go to the right click, copy from cell view. Okay. So we will get this value. I have given LH uh, 500 nanometer, VDS 500 millivolt, VGS 500 millivolt, and WS 10 micro. Okay. Now go to the setup. Go to the model library. If this one is not a TT, then click this one and uh, go to the end. Check TTT. TT. Okay. Press OK. Now go to the analysis. Choose DC. So we have created variables. Uh, we want to sweep VGS. So click here, design variable. Now select design variable. We have created four design variable in our uh, this semantic. So click VGS. Okay. Now you can give here any value. So I have given zero to one. Okay. Now click. Okay. Now we want uh, output to be saved. So we want to save our operating points so click this one and this one now here you can see save operating points uh, nmos and pmos so here we can see save many things so either you can choose from this one okay uh, you can choose many point uh, click this one and then control and uh, suppose okay you can click uh, control and then click many variable you can select many variable at a time okay so, uh, either you can write directly here suppose i want gm gds gm over id and then id and uh, i also want uh, cgg to plot my ft now you can also write same here gm gds gm over id and is cgg okay so we are saving these operating points for this simulation now run the simulation so simulation completed now go to the tools and calculator so our first plot will be gm by gds versus gm by id so go to the os click this one and then click nmos again os now here you can see star are saved operating point so i will suggest you to first one by one so select cgg and send to the stack again go gds here gds came now send to the stack now again gm here gm send to the stack gm or id send to the stack and id send to the stack and uh, we also need uh, one variable uh, w because we want to plot id by w versus gm by id so click uh, this one variable and again click and mouse now go to the here the event select w now here w came okay so send to the stack delete this one so suppose i want first one gm by gds versus uh, gm by id so first we have to create y axis so this one gm divided by click this one and simply drag here 
now you you can see gm by gds again send back to the stack okay now you can see gm by gds we have created the second thing we want id by w so delete this one click and drag here and uh, divided by again click this one and drag okay id by w again send back to the here now third thing we want uh, ft so ft is gm by 2 pi cgg okay so click this one drag here gm by okay now we want 2 pi cgg so right here 2 into pi into again uh, click this cgg and drag here so gm by 2 pi into cgg you can give your bracket one okay so gm by 2 pi cgg again send back to the stack now go to here okay click all and search here wave versus wave now here uh, on x axis we want gm over id for every curve now on y axis first we want a gm by gds so on y axis gm by gds and on x axis gm over id apply now here you can see the same uh, written v versus is on x axis gm over id on y axis gm by gds okay now this one send back to the adl window now go to the here now here click outputs now you can see the same uh, our plot having uh, back to the ideal window now again go to the calculator the second plot is id by w now we have created already id by w okay and so y axis id by w x axis geom over it apply it came here now send back to the ideal here it came now the third one is ft so ft is uh, gm by 2 pi into cgg so here okay so y axis gm by 2 pi cgg x axis gm over id okay apply and send to the ideal now here we can we have created three plot so you we can edit also So this one is gm by gds okay so gm by gds versus gm by id apply this one is id by w versus gm by id so id by w versus gm by id okay apply this one is uh, ft okay so ft versus gm by id okay apply and click okay now we have written now click plot now you can see gm by gds versus gm by id id by w versus gm by id ft versus gm by id so we got this curve for L equal to 500 nanometer and W equal to 10 microampere. But we know like uh, ID by W, ID is also proportional to W. And so ID by W will be independent of width. GM by GDS also will be independent of width. Okay. So now we will parameterize the length. Okay. Now go to the tools and parametric analysis. Now here choose l 45 nanometer and suppose i am going to 2 micro and uh, linear steps my one linear steps is 50 nanometer okay now run the simulation
it will take time some thirty seven forty forty two fifty five fifty fifty two okay then 75 77 80 82 85 87 90 92 95 97 100 okay now you can see here this beautiful plots gm by gds versus gm by id and id by w versus gm by id and ft versus gm by id okay so you can plot uh, these plots so if you want any other plots or you have doubt in this video then let me know okay so again i can give you a brief how i did so first create semantic go to the launch go to the adl click adl you will get this one and right click copy from cell view set up model library click pt corner okay now choose analysis go to the dc select design variable vgs shift vgs 0 to 1 okay now go to the outputs what you want to save go to the to be saved select operating points then click n mos and p mos you will get uh, this one okay now right here gm gds gm over id cgg gm gds gm over id cgg okay so now run this after run the simulation then go to the tools and then calculator and then go to the os then click and then variable w so you can uh, practice this one uh, it's uh, all depend on practice so okay thank you uh, if you want any particular video on cadence i have limited access to the cadence so tell me before it gets expired okay thank you